The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Bid fear. Bid fear. Bid fear. If you have surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. Bid fear. To. To. Bid fear. Tow. Tow. You can also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of a tower. Congratulations. You're going to find lots of things to do in the Castle Age. For starters, try building a siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. Kid? To build a castle, you must first advance to the next age, the castle age. The advance buttons let you set combat states for your soldiers. A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near him. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons on the lower left corner of the screen. Great! You've completed the castle. Sir William should be here soon, and then it will be time to attack the English. Using the advance buttons, you can also order a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another unit. Wallace has come! One of your most powerful units is created at the castle. Create ten more woad 
Raiders. The advanced buttons allow access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit such as a monk. William Wallace and his wood readers on your side, the English may be in trouble! Once you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons, go. Destroy the English castle! Trebuchets are massive siege weapons with a great range, available only in the Imperial Age. Remember that trebuchets must be packed to move and unpacked to fire. English castle at Falkirk is no more. The English pretensions in Scotland are surely at an end. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. 